Deltron. It's the human design. Walking bare feet, running bare feet. Um, the matrix grid. So this is what this video is going to be about. Uh, If you are ready to wait, because life is a mess. It's chaotic, but we can make it way more beautiful than we could when we just be ourselves. So this is what this video is about. So, here we go. All right, the matrix grid and walking bare feet, the phytosophic stone. Why is that important? Why should you listen to me? Not, not many beings actually know what the human design is and how it's functioning. And it obviously starts with our feet. Our feet are, have over, I don't know, 1,200 nerve endings. And if we do not use them, we basically do not give our brain the feedback to experience life in a far greater reality than we could ever imagine. So this is why I say, take off your shoes or get into minimalist shoes. That means zero padding. As I said, if you have a lot of padding under your feet, you have a lot of padding around your soul. So this is why it will not wake and shake up. Also, be as raw, as naked as you can. Go out in the sun, drink enough water. Um, maybe get into Shivambu Kalpa if you're not ready for that. Drink a lot of water and activate what is inside of you. Now, what does that have has to do with Deltron and uh, the mass media, the controlling mechanisms we have in society? Well, if you look, if you basically would listen close to this type of music I'm presenting to you here, you would understand that this realm is a magic realm. Sounds very odd to you, maybe. But this is due to the fact that you probably do not understand how your imagination and how your magic is functioning. That's why I'm here. Because if you would listen to this song, to this story basically, you would understand that we are one gigantic being experiencing this. So I'm basically time traveling in here and I'm re re helping you to remember to get out of here again. <laughs> Sounds bizarre to you, right? Yeah, but this realm is pretty bizarre because this was made in, I don't know, like 2002 or something, and now it's becoming real. Everything that Daltron is saying in here, the other funky homo sapien, is becoming real. So you should think about what you are experiencing and why it is. So this is why I'm making these videos in order to help you to remember your original design, which is imprinted in your DNA. And you could wake it up if you just become more natural, if you are listening to the ordinary human design, which is inside of everyone, because we are one. And to understand this, we have to raise up as a collective, 
as uh, as a giant as a giant because we are one giant we are one gigantic being which is maybe only me because I have all these realizations that doesn't make me better but see I'm I have it inside of me I'm resonating because I was distilling myself so much down with fasting with gnosis knowledge alchemy Shivambukalpa movement fasting like I said feasting experiencing all types of deities and diets which means godhoods um, knowing what language is how spells are working what magic is what imagination is knowing that I basically do not move but only my mind space and my movement patterns change so this is why I'm presenting to you all of this and it's very easy because the difference is it's all in your mind that's the difference the difference is that you have been programmed to something and in order to wake up and be like hey I was fooling myself all the time this is why it's called my tricks it's matrix because mother nature was tricking you but basically you only tricked yourself because you are the creator you put your hands into something and then you construct and we see all these things because we have done them in our mind in the first place and then we put them into reality now the problem with these devices is I'm just using that to help you to remember that it was already inside of us but now we <laughs> distance ourselves through these mirrors and we think oh we have all these access to information which is true but you have to get into the mind space of an observer that you observe that you observe your surroundings that's you you're a donut you are what you construct around you that's what you are you are not your body you are the area which is the aura which is the horus the the 24 hours is the 42 laws of ma'at you get it one more time you have 24 hours in your day 24 hours spell it around you get into the 42 laws of ma'at which is the laws of Horus because if you would spell hours differently you would understand that it is Horus which gets into ancient Kemet's and this is basically not about telling you that the Kemet's were all right but it's about that you are the constructor you are the instructor you are the destructor you destruct you instruct and you construct and because if you become aware of this everything around you starts to manifest the way you would like to have it this is why I'm exorcising myself with all these different techniques in order to empower myself to help me vibrate on a different level so everything else around me starts to vibrate differently this is how it works this is what this reality is as within so without this gets into hermetics hermeticism so everything is mind right everything is just mind you just have to be more aware of your thought patterns if you become more aware of your thoughts like do not think bad like if you if you think about hate murder these types of things that is already in your mind so your thoughts are fucked up if your thoughts are fucked up it will sooner or later manifest maybe not in your reality but somewhere else because you were channeling these thoughts like oh channeling he said channeling yeah because you are a battery in an electromagnetic universe but if your battery is not able to flux electromagnetism through yourself because you are ice you isolate yourself from the whole system you think oh yeah I have this ego mind and from this ego perception you create all of these problems so I would fuse like one more time here from Falun Dafa essentials for further advancement <coughs> human selfishness greed stupidity and ignorance are interwoven with the goodness inherent in human nature 
and humans are unknowingly creating everything they will have to bear. This is currently swallowing up in society. Numerous social problems of various sorts are surfacing in the world and crises lurk everywhere. Yet humans do not know to find the causes within their own nature. After the, 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 after the de degeneration of morality, humans are unable to see that the terrible human heart is the poisonous root of social problems. And so they always foolishly try to find the way out in social phenomena. As a result, human beings never realize that all the so-called ways out that they create for themselves are precisely them sealing themselves off. As such, there are even fewer ways out, and the new problems that follow are even worse. Thus, with much difficulty, humans again find a tiny space and take new measures, thereby closing this remaining bit of space once again. As this repeats itself over a period of time, there is no room left and they can no longer find a way out, nor can they see the truth beyond the enclosed space. Human beings begin to suffer from all that they have created for themselves. One more, one more time. Human beings begin to suffer from all that they have created for themselves. This is the final way in which the universe eliminates lives. The Lord of Buddhas, whose mercy is incredibly immense, has left the Buddha for to human beings. That universe is giving humans another opportunity, allowing the mighty Buddha for once again to reveal the universe's actual reality to the human world, to wash away all filth and ignorance, and to use human language to recapture its brilliance and splendor. May you cherish it. The Buddha for is right in front of you. That's it, because I, want, I say that one more time, not many beings actually know how to create with language. Because your thoughts are very stupid. Your thoughts are so like crazy. And I have the courage to speak my mind into existence. This is why I'm, I'm standing here right in front of you. And I don't even look at the black mirror because and this is stupid. This shit is stupid. Like all the networking shit. <laughs> I see it as part of human development. It's a great thing to connect ourselves. But eventually, as you were just hearing, it's separating us. Look at the shit that we construct. Oh, now everybody's online. Great, right? Do you change your freaking positions? Do you change your positions, like in your temple, which is your avatar? Probably not. Have you contact to other beings? Probably not. So what do you, what do you feed yourself with the freaking black mirrors? What do you feed yourself there with? That's your freaking diet. That's your freaking deity. That's your godhood that you live under. Do you understand that? Probably not. You think I might be crazy, right? Because I'm screaming around like a freaking, I don't know, priest or something you might call me. I'm not your priest. Because I know what language is. I could, like one day I'm this, another day I'm something else. Because I construct my own avatar with frequency. Because I know I am an instrument. Instrument. I instruct my mind. I'm an instructor, Russ Field, and I carry all these things in my field. This is why I can consciously pick different fruits from my field and then put them inside of me. Sounds crazy, huh? Yeah, it's called experience. You have that also. And your experience might tell you, hey, you know, that, that all these things that we do, do you think that's natural? I mean, yeah, it is because we came out of nature, right? So everything that we construct is nature. <clears throat> but from my point of view, it's becoming, it will become beautiful because I am beautiful. But at the same time, it's very odd. It's 
very crazy. So better stay hydrated and get into your original human design. And everybody can do that, you know. But I would say, you know, the natural human design is to interact with humans. Can I interact with somebody like this? Maybe I can. I can make eye contact. You know, I am even so powerful that if I would make eye contact, I would. I'm going to say that if I make eye contact with you, I'm going to shatter all your belief systems. That's why I make very conscious eye contact because I look inside of your soul. See, and this is natural. This is natural. Like everybody has a connection. Everybody has a soul. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody has. Everybody should have a soul. But are you activated? Is your soul activated? What is your belief system? I don't know. What is your programs that you were run by? Maybe I'm just a complete shit talker. And I'm just very crazy in my mind. And I'm putting things into your mind to make you even crazier. But consider my thoughts. Consider what I'm just saying. And consider what you have been learned by society. And it's not that one thing is better than the other. But just make a conscious decision for yourself, which means you split up yourself. Decide. You choose a site. You choose something to, to do it like this, to do it like that. And then you organize chaos magic. That's what this here is. Because I was mastering all these little puzzle pieces. Now I'm just like, there's a piece here, there's a piece, piece here, PC here, PC here. And I fuse it together to become a PPCC. Right? You get it? Social interaction is pretty normal, I would say. So that's why I'm just, you know, do my things. But I know at the same time that this reality is very crazy. You know, I'm like, maybe I'm, I'm just stuck in a time loop here and I want to go back to source. Sounds very bizarre, huh? But isn't the source myself? Yeah, right? Source is myself. So I don't, this is why I'm also like, that doesn't, it would make a change if I would go into nature and would like, all this, these things in society are crazy. But I know that I am, I am my surroundings. I am my mirror. So is everybody. So we have to keep our minds in a clean space to do it together and to raise society together right that's basically also what these black mirrors are but maybe you should become more of a producer than a consumer maybe you should produce more produce more black instead of consume more black conscious workout <laughs> because like all the I mean gyms are great I would love to be in a gym I will be in a gym and train people beings souls to uplift themselves but at the same time I know it's very crazy because I, if you see the matrix grid, you know that you basically don't move. Only your position changes. 
So if you master your avatar, if you master your body, it freaking doesn't matter where you would go because it's imprinted in your nervous system. It's imprinted in yourself. And if you master your move mind, if you master your mind, you could do, you could use pl weight plates. You could use, a, like a, you, I will show you, a wooden tree. You could use a stone. I'm going to show you this one more time. And why you do these movements? You do them for your neurochemical release. You do it for your mind. And why you do it for your mind? Because you are the mast under your mind. You're the mastermind. You should master your mind, space. And this is when you master your space, your surroundings. Yeah, we are all basically, I would say, stuck in this time loop. I'm stuck in this time loop. I can't pull, pull myself out of it because I, I care about everyone. And I see what's going on, you know, like it, this is, it's crazy. And I'm participating in it because if I would not participate in it, I would be in a separation mode, which is not empowering or helpful. I know that even the deadliest, the evil, the evils, the most evil, evilistic, <laughs> the most darkest thing is part of source. So I would do it. But I know at the same time that there are natural solutions to everything, which are a lot simpler, which are maybe even more powerful. Hey, did you know you could drink your shivambu? I'm not going to say these words because they were creating, you know, trouble in my reality and most beings do not understand. So if you would, this is why I say shivambu, you know, it sounds a lot more spiritual. It sounds, it is very intelligent. It sounds very clear, right? So, stones. So keep it moving, yo. Keep it moving. Stay intelligent, yo. You should stay freaking intelligent, and you should move. See, this is you see all everything that I do, everything that I I give you, is for free. And it's not that I'm like, hey, I was giving that to you. This is why I'm better. No, but I'm like, you know what? Just go into a freaking nature, pick up a stone, and lift it. And this is how you would construct your, basically, your, your temple, which is your body, or your surroundings, which is your mind. Like, you know how many nerve endings you have on your, on your hands, on your feet? See, on your feet here. You know how many, like, this is why you should get into soles which are freaking thin. Because you would start to feel, you would start to feel your body. You would start to feel your mind. But my, I know, I don't want to feel so many things, but let me tell you, because I can spell so many things out, and I'm showing myself so much naked, the way I live, the way I am, do you know how deep I was in my own mind? See? And I don't see the reason why I should be afraid to not share it. Because this is the only thing we could do in order to lift ourselves up in a way more conscious degree. And that's why I'm also like, you don't even spend your time like watching my videos 20 minutes. This is bullshit. I'm only here to inspire you to do 
yourself, you know, like let your pen fall and go out in nature and full run. Get out of time. Pick up something, lift it, move on. Get into your alchemy, get into your diet. What feels good for you? Hey, I don't sell you anything. You know, it's because everything is already here. And that's the question of perspective. Hey, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> but certainly I know also that I should get into Mooney making. Right? Mooney making. Making more Mooney. But why? Why should we make more money? Alright, so here we go. Like so. All right. All right, Deltron 3030. I would love to play that music in the background, but hey, you know, maybe it is a good thing that I'm not allowed to give you music because this is how I can um, make more music with my voice. See, I'm the voice of Germany. I'm the voice which is instructing all. And this gets into magic, this gets into the mind, this gets into programs. <coughs> and so this is why I say, become more aware of your thoughts. And if you become more aware of your thoughts, create your own reality, how you would like to have it. And why am I repeating myself? Because I don't sometimes know what to do here, because I know all these things that it's basically just for free and it's a matter of fact of doing something. Just, uh, just do it, you know? Can you say so? You can, can you decode that? But wait, Kenny, 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 Kenny. This Kenny is Nike. Nike, Nike says just do it. But Nike is basically Kenya. If you would uh, decode that for yourself. See, and this is why I'm also like, look at how I'm working out. Crazy, huh? That's the newest trend. I could sell that to you for freaking $500. But maybe I, I could do it, right? I could do it. But I'm not motivated to do that. Because I, I love you so much that I see the capacity to... To just share because I care. Oh, and to just master myself through this, through being open. And to educate you about electromagnetism. To add, uh, add, uh, elect, you, elect you to help you to be yourself. This is what it is. Right? I'm, I'm sharing that from the deepest source of inspirational compassion. Right? When you see how my brain works and like it sounds maybe chaotic or crazy to you, but this is the um, the mind mapping, this is the creational aspect, the creativity in me and also in you to just be, you know, see all these different angels and angles that I produce. Now it's on this angle, sometimes it's there, it's there, right? It's a, we get different outlooks into reality. So this is why it's so powerful and so intelligent also to do it. Right, I, let, let me show you some chromatic yoga here. Right, like this, like so. <laughs> See, and this is also the thing with yoga, you know? Everybody sells you some yoga system. And it's good, but what is yoga basically for? It's for spirituality, right? Isn't it? So, 
of course I have to make a living out of something, but see how powerful basically my mirror is <clears throat> because I'm doing it for my own empowerment but also for the empowerment of everyone who is looking at it because I love you and basically what is yoga? yoga is movement so yoga is just like I said different positions of your body and now we can get into belief systems we can get into systems your mind your brain and your diet as within so without you know study your own temple study yourself this is probably why we're here nothing else not, nothing more you know and that's then we get into the imaginational capacity of ourselves and the the crazy things that you will experience in your computer right like so welcome to my virtual reality it's called imagination right boo this is what i do you know i just mirror myself in this freaking damn thing i don't even know why i'm making these videos that's stupid it's completely bizarre because i could go somewhere else and do it with other beings but I also know that like that how this whole situation is constructed, we tend then to create these social disorders because this is what is raising our own fears in ourselves, right? Like so. So we have to we have problems to into interact with each other. So now we get into these things, so we isolate ourselves even more. It's completely flipped upside down and tricked and already uh, s since you don't even notice that you already live probably as a spirit and capsule in your human design. So you create a box, you are in a box, now you create another box that you now live on. Damn, what the fuck is that? See, yeah, this, this is why it's so like crazy. But at least I, it's somehow somehow entertaining to me. And if it makes you feel good, you know, continue doing it. But see, it's it's part of a release to me, and it's a mosaic picture, anyways, because everybody zooms into their reality. Everybody thinks, hey, you know, this is valuable, and so we create wormholes. So we create realities in realities in realities in realities in realities. So we get into reality TV, which means reality tell lies to your vision. So you don't construct your own reality. Basically you do, but I mean, this whole thing is completely crazy, you know. But maybe it's designed to help ourselves to reach actually the connection and the freedom aspect. What is the freedom? Freedom, what is that? Freedom means Free dome, which is head. King dome, which means the king, if you get a crown, a crown on your dome, right? So you get out of those worldly things, maybe with cultivation and Falun Gong, Falun Dafa, like so. But, I, you know, I'm just ins inspirating you. Inspirit inspirations for you, right? Fun going fun buffer. So inspirations. This is what basically this whole thing is about. It's about inspirations, inspirit nations. We live in spirits, and this is what we do with social media. We ins we do we just inspire ourselves. But why you know? The quest to me is why can't you be inspired by yourself? Isn't that crazy enough? See, so, yeah, okay, let's get into symbolism. The alchemical kitchen, the shaman, the alchemist. So what we have here, this is basically my altar. 
So this is how we alter reality. So you alter means where you alter your imagination, where you alter your reality, where you put your reality into, where you put your imagination into reality. So this, your energy goes where your focus, focus, focus goes, right? So if you focus on something, that's what it will become, obviously. And this is why I'm presenting myself here with all these types of symbols to keep me going in this crazy realm. So this, you, this is how you also basically would construct your room, right? Your room is a representation of your mind. So the 42 laws of Ma'at, I've not committed sin. Let's read them chaotically. I'm not deceitful. I have not spoken angrily or arrogantly. Maybe I was speaking that a bit arrogantly today, a bit rude. rude. I have not stolen what belongs to God, Goddess. I have not acted with insolence. I have not been excusively angry. I have not told lies. So then we have my, my alchemy here, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, iodine, MSM, but also, you know, like, I'm like, it's crazy because I get these dopamine shots from the, making these videos. At the same time, I know it might be beneficial what I'm saying, but it might be not. It might be not the case for you that everything that I say might even be interesting to you or helpful. So I, I'm asking myself, why am I even doing it? Because I probably have deep, deep rooted problems with feeling accepted. I don't know. No, I think it's more more maybe that I literally see that how degenerated this whole thing is. Because, you know, I love to go and to work and to be with humans. I'm also human, but I'm also something else. But the more you, you basically know, the more I know, the more, biz the more bizarre the whole thing becomes, what we basically do in here. So this is why I'm stressing so much tolerance, because from my point of view, tolerance is a very rooted factor to, um, to organize our realm to organize our being with each other. So this is MSM and this here is vitamin C. So you know, take your alchemy, take your human design toys or take your however you would like to call them. Take your nutrition, take your light, take your darkness. But you know what, I could even be like, hey, I'm drinking soda right here in front of you because I'm saying in this thing here is going to be everything that I need in order to construct my reality. And so be it. This is called magic. And this is called stressing melanin dark substance DNA activation. Because it's a Maya anyways, it's an illusion anyways, so you can construct out of everything. But only if your Kundalini energy is vibrating onto a pretty high degree. See, that's why we also get into the pineal gland, into the king domes here, which is the pineapples. You get it, the symbol. But I also take the most death pieces that we produce, it's called chicken, and it's that meat. It's that meat. And then we also have some potatoes, you know, but see, this is this is a complete bizarre thing. It's like everybody's showing you, hey, you know, this is what I do. It's the best for you. And actually, that's all what we do. We share it from heart. 
because humans want to be accepted, right? We want to be an expression to the world, right? That's what we want to do. We want to express ourselves, we want to show ourselves. And that's basically our life, which wants to get out of this dark place. But this is why I'm saying to you, upgrade your brain matter, upgrade your gray matter, because one day it may matter. See, and this gets into the bath and into the light. See, and this is about like deity is one aspect, emotions is another one. But it's a rainbow anyways, it's just an expression of life. So this is what this video here basically is. We're going to stop it at, of course, 42, 42, because this is what the 42 laws of math are. And you know what? If you could read from top to down, you can decode this. Because this is how I'm breaking you out of your own construct. So. Yeah, this is basically it. So, omega-3, vitamin C, MSM, vitamin D, vitamin K, OPC, and caffeine. <laughs> Take your pills, you know. Take your pills to stay in this reality. It's very crazy. All right. Oh, one more minute to go. All right. So, I love you. Truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. Show yourself to the world and take care of your actual beings who are around you because that's why we're here as souls, as jinnies. I love you. Truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. Thank you. Done.